excited. Um, finally, you know, up out the house on my feet, running around, doing what I love. So I'm really happy now. So. How was the how like the rehab and going along with you and everything and ready to go against you? Um, rehab was slow and steady, um, but yeah, we're here, um, feel good, and I believe I'm ready to play. Yeah. Like, do you, did, did, like, did Nick give you an idea of uh, how many minutes you'd like to see from the Wednesday or anything like that? No, sir, I have not spoken to Coach, but uh, you know, he gets paid to be a bucks to make a good decision, so I'm ready. Um, I'll be ready for work. What type of damage did you do? I mean, was it a fractured rib? Yeah. Some people saying fractured, you were saying bruised. Yeah, I had a fractured rib. Yeah. So, Coach, what actually happened that night? Um, well, actually, um, first and foremost, before anything, I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, um, the 76ers organization, especially Coach Nurse, um, for the utmost support uh, throughout this whole process. Um, but, like, I've spoken to the police about this situation, and they have an ongoing investigation. So, um, I've spoken to who I need to speak to about it, and, you know, I'll keep it with, with the way that is. And um, I won't be speaking on any details about that because they are looking into it. So, Kelly, how badly do you want? the person who hit you to be caught? Um, like I said, man, like I'm, I'm all for love, you know, and peace, but at the end of the day, this is a serious situation, but I'm gonna let, you know, the situation handle itself from there. And um, I don't really, I don't hate anybody. I don't want any addition and knowledge on anybody, so. Well, Kelly, there was a lot of people who were saying, okay, this doesn't seem right, and, and questioning you if you were telling the truth or not. Did, did, that, did that hurt you? Was that disappointing? Um, this is a, this was and is like a very traumatic situation for me and my family. So, uh, you know, I just wish that my life wasn't like, like the Truman Show, where everybody can kind of watch it and have their own opinion about my life. This is very hard for us to have to deal with and me to miss being on the court, which keeps me sane. And, you know, a lot of people are very inconsiderate and insensitive to try to worry about video cameras and shit. Uh, something that happened with my life and it's very detrimental to me and missing time in my job. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just really blessed that it wasn't worse than what it is and that I'm able to come back to work and smile and, you know, walk and talk and breathe. So, yeah, that's just what I have to say about the conspiracy theorists. And I love them, too. Like, I, I, I sit there on my downtown and look at them, but not with my life, bro. It's just serious. So. You're, you're new to town. Were you sure where you were when it happened? Like I said, I won't be answering any questions about the details of the situation. So. How frustrating was it to have the start that you had to your season playing some of the best basketball in your career and then have it come to a position of rough and now to work your way back to, to where you were? I mean, it was tough, but uh, I know for a fact in life everything happens for a reason. So, like, it was uh, what they say, a um, minor setback for a major comeback, right? Like, I'm ready to hoop, man. And I'm, it's been a long process for me, and I'm just ready to kind of be with my guys and, you know, perform for good world coach and, you know, make the organization look good. Yeah, while you were sidelined, were you watching on TV or in the last couple of games since you've been with them? What have you observed about the growth that, that they've had over the last few weeks? We fight every night, no matter who we got on the court, uh, no matter what the lineups are, no matter we have a really solid, good team, and we fight every single night. And you don't get that a lot. You know, a lot of teams they just give up and they quit. You know, because certain guys are out, but we never do. And I love the resiliency, but it's time for us to kind of take that next step and paying attention to the details and doing what we do in practice to carry over to the game. When you were initially hurt, um, did you think you would be able to come back in three weeks, or just kind of take this back to this point? Well, and one thing about me, man, I manifest healing in my mind all day because I'm an athlete, so something is always hurting. Um, but like, yeah, I, I know I heal fast, but obviously I didn't have a timetable on anything. Obviously the medical staff, I let them do their job because I trust them with my body. And um, yeah, I just kind of take it day by day, but we're here now. How did you cope? when you were going through that? I've been playing guitar a lot, um, chilling with my kids, watching um, Scott vs. Ramona, One Piece, just on the couch kicking it for real. But, you know, being here at the practice facility or at the arena with the guys, man, that's been giving my heart the full wholeness because, like, my kids can't even jump on me at home. They can now. But, like, at the end of the day, that's what we do to play. And I haven't been able to do that. But basketball and me rehabbing has given me a sense of, like, I guess, uh, identity. How important is that? So we're you see from Nick and, and the guys. And this, like, that, that, how much was that for you? It was everything, man. Um, it was a lot of love, man. I really wanted to cry. Uh, just. You know, the city, the fans, um, the organization, Coach Nurse, he came to my house, chill with my daughter, play with her, um, you know, the support from my teammates, Tyrese going for 50, like, come on, bro, like, that's ultimate legend status on 
everybody else around me, man. And I just want to pay it forward and get back out there and perform for them and make them smile. How yeah, great was it to see uh, Tyrese get the shot by that? That felt amazing, man. I had to uh, go upstairs real quick away from my wife and kind of like, you know, just shed a little tear for that because I know how hard he works, man. And, you know, for that situation to happen and him to go out and kind of be so focused on, you know, getting us the win and having the best game of his career, you know, I was just blessed to see him perform well. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, love is love.